I think anybody that just got saved needs to go through ADT. I really do. I think that when somebody comes to know Christ and they're saved, they need to know the whole gospel. They need to know what happened on both sides of the cross, that he gave his life for us and to us. And they need to know who they are in Christ, that their, their old sinful man is dead now, and they have a new nature in them, and that is Christ. And I think that would help them to get rid of a lot of the things that they are in bondage to, which my particular flesh patterns is fear, anger, control, manipulation. Um, and I use that in very bad ways in my family. But I didn't know any better. Nobody ever told me what flesh was, didn't explain what flesh was. I think for me, as I look back on the journey I've been on, the performance-based acceptance is more about other people accepted me because of my performance. It wasn't so much God accepted me. I think I was trying to be near to God and feel an emotional closeness to God through those things. Not to get close to Him, but feel close to Him. I was accepted by people. The better I looked through teaching Bible studies or praying or whatever it was in the church, the better I looked, the more people looked up to me. And that made me feel good. And that was acceptance for me. That was performance-based acceptance for me. And it really had nothing to do with God. Well, that was something God revealed to me. Now, the thing with that is, is when I came to ADT, and I knew um, my core lies about God uh, was that He was uh, preoccupied. He was uh, emotionally absent. He was untrustworthy. The core lie I believed about myself, and this was so new to me, but was that I have no worth and no value. And how that kind of manifested itself was my children made me feel unworthy and that I had no value to them. Mainly because their behavior didn't line up to how I thought it should be. And I'm the type that if you wash the dishes for me or you vacuum the floor or you do your laundry or whatever I just feel the love I feel oh you love me oh thank you you love your mom for that and when the children didn't do that I would explode in my flesh anger whatever it was and I felt but what triggered that what was the mo emotion behind that anger is a secondary emotion so what triggered the anger when the kids didn't do what I want them to do it was that Ultimately, I felt unworthy and undervalued by them, that they were disrespectful to me. So that was my core lie about myself. Liberty for me and freedom for me is no longer being enslaved to sin, to myself, to Satan, to lies. Uh, it's being free to be who God really created me to be. It's just taking off all the stuff from the world, from learned, whatever it may be. Just taking off that stuff and just being who God created me to be. That was foundational for me to learn who Jesus really is. That He is love. He is joy. He is peace. He is patience. He is kindness. He is goodness. He is faithfulness. He is gentleness, and He is self-control. And if that's who He is, and that's who He is in me, then He will be that through me. So I can love my children and my husband, and even the people that I don't really love. I can love them because love lives in me, or peace lives in me, and patience lives in me, or self-control lives in me. I can be who He created me to be because I'm created anew from the inside out. That's who I am. And I, you know, I just come to realize that is who I am, you know. <laughs> I don't have to be who I used to be anymore. I don't have to let fear, anger, control, control me anymore. At all. I'm just going to tell you now, Jesus is everything to me. He is the most real thing in my life.